been here, they will be in total here for almost three weeks. Um, and, you know, Bonaventure and the Olean community have been very good guests so far. And I think uh, you will really enjoy what they have to say on Haiti, the history of Haiti, and much more. So just a really fast recap of why, how I got involved, how Bon Response got involved in Haiti. Uh, in 2010, there was an earthquake, as I'm sure most of you remember, uh, and it was awful. There is just no other way to talk about it than just awful. Um, uh, approximately 300,000 people died. Um, approximately 300,000 homes were destroyed. It was, it still is. Here was the capital right now, and I'll let you guys tell. What is there right now? Yeah. Nothing. Uh, the feet that, so imagine for a second the White House being gone five years later. I mean, it's just it's pretty staggering. Um, and we're not going to go through all these pictures. Here's, I mean, it, we have dramatically improved, but there's still, um, when I was there, I think what really hit home was that there, and Jerry, you can vouch for this. You were on this, the first trip as well. Um, it really was a disaster, not necessarily just of nature, but the poverty, et cetera, was awful and uh, it is now five years later and they're still dealing with poverty and they're still dealing with lots of things like that um, my brother this is a real fast recap my brother Pat uh, is a doctor and he went there one of the first in the first week he was there doing amputations etc he said what you really have to do is send down medical supplies we started collecting medical supplies um, and we sent, I think it was 11 pallets, if I remember, the first, right off the bat. And that was going to be it. That was pretty much, that was my plan. We would be done after we got done with medical supplies. Went down and decided it was just too much. We couldn't let it go. Um, I, I, people who go to these things regularly get tired of the story, but it is just so amazing that I have to tell it again. Um, so, and I usually don't have a prop, but I do have a prop right now, so I'm going to show you. Um, so, a piece of cardboard, and little kids had taken a box and had ripped open the cardboard and were writing on this side, the underside, and then take the, the corrugation out and writing on the other two sides. So we decided to, I gave up uh, the, the group we were with, we left our notebooks and we subsequently have started collecting notebooks, paper, pen, pencils. Um, we got involved with lots of other sporting teams, so we, we now collect and send down. Uh, we've, we've passed 140 pallets of supplies that we've shipped down there now. Um, and also, in this time, we have met some great people. Um, I'm not obviously going to try to name everyone. Not everyone here, yes, but there's so many more that wanted to come and could not come for visa issues or money issues, etc. So these are some of the people uh, that we work with. They are wonderful. They have lots of great ideas moving forward on how to change Haiti. In fact, over the last few days, they've been talking about it. Uh, in fact, this morning, we announced a new program. Um, there's a group on campus called bon Bonasim, Students and Money Management, that has a contest that they're giving away $6,000. And we, we are at least in the top three, so minimum we get $1,000. That money is gonna go to, and vote for us, by the way. Go to bonasim.org, vote for Bonnie Response. That money is going to go to fund a project that th these groups will be doing when they go home. So I think it's just a really, really cool thing. Um, so, but you guys didn't come to hear me talk. So I am going to, who's going to go first? Uh, 